Have you been searching for months for the perfect accessory or that just right decorative piece to complement your home? Well, guess what? You are in luck. A fair in the park is happening this weekend at Mellon Park, and we have a sampling of it right here in our studio. And joining us is the director, Carrie Nardini. And Carrie, this is the 53rd year for this. This has been going on longer than Heather and I have been alive. Yes, I've been going to this show <laughs> since I was little. Oh, wow. Yep. And the name alone, it just sounds so romantic and it's it's accessorized by these beautiful pieces. And it's a beautiful setting. The park is gorgeous. It's really nice to spend the whole weekend there. Well, let's talk about some of the things that you brought here because I, David and I were both wowed when we walked in. So we definitely have ceramics. The Guild, this is run by the Craftsman's Guild of Pittsburgh. It's an artist-run, artist-led event, and it started as a ceramics guild. Okay. So we have really lovely ceramics. Um, we have, this is Nancy Sullivan. She has birds and wildlife and all sorts of different designs on her hand-built ceramics. This is Wolf's Den Pottery. We have ink, this is um, Robin's Nest. I love this piece. I love this. It's so, it's just so sweet. And you could use it as a vase or as a pitcher. I have sure. several of Karen's pieces. I love seeing them every day, knowing where they came from. It's you know gorgeous. What? And all of this stuff would be great gifts. So oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Keep walking us through here. What else yeah, do you have? Don't even worry about starting to shop for the holidays. Now would be a great time. <laughs> it really yeah. would be. So we also have fiber artists. We have these hats, which are really unique. Um, those are by Tatiana Brock. Rachmanina, I wanted to make sure I said her name right. <laughs> um, and we have other fiber arts. We have, this is, this piece actually has a story behind it. Um, the artist is from England and she has a story behind it uh, about the relationship between England and Ireland. So these aren't just um, functional art pieces. They also um, definitely have a connection with the artist as well. And I gotta tell you, like deep down inside of me, I, I like to describe myself as Peggy Bundy chic. Uh -huh. And so I'm totally <laughs> drawn to this purse here. This is a new artist to us this year, Sister Epic. She has amazing handbags. So handbags are another of our fiber arts. We also have leather handbags by Luna Jays. I brought um, one over here. This is one that actually I've worn for several years. So they even get better over time. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Uh, you know what? And I love the chain on that too. That really mm -hmm. like makes the difference. Yeah, can I we think talk you need that. Can we talk about <laughs> some of the art down front? Oh, absolutely. Because I am just amazed by some of this, and it really would be a great gift or an addition to your home. Like my favorite thing shopping is one for them, one for me, one for oh, them, yeah. one for me. I'm gonna have to institute that. I love that. <laughs> yes. So if you can see the painting with the um, the jar, that's Michael Chavone, and that's actually a painting. Um, it is not. It's made by hand with paintbrush. And then we have Stevo, uh, Stevo Mosaics, and his mosaics are on our poster this year. So there's one representing Pittsburgh, obviously, and a gorgeous floral mosaic. And are these, is it stained glass yeah. or, yeah. Well, it, it's, gla it's glass pieces. It's glass pieces. Yes. It's really, I mean, to see it in person is another story because even just what you're seeing on camera right now, it doesn't, it doesn't even on begin each, to compare. On each of the sides, we also have wood. So we have woodwork at the mm -hmm. fair too. Mm -hmm. There's a bench, uh, sorry, there's a stool and a mirror. So there's, everything is functional and gorgeous. It's so beautiful. there's the mix of both that you'll find. And we have really quirky, fun art too. This is, um, this, this is uh, a robot made out of different items that have been found. Uh, this, he has a coffee mug, um, so. Really unique pieces. Yeah, yeah, you can find something that would be a statement piece as well as something you can wear. Talk to us a little bit about the jewelry. Sure, so this jewelry is a mixture of handmade ceramic pieces that are put into, um, you know, the, ne the necklaces and earrings, and they're really fun because you can buy, you know, several and have them mix and match as well. And then this is Metal Piece by Kim Evans. This was, um, we also have over here glass. Sorry, we have so many fun things all over. But uh, this is a glass piece over here that each of those discs was handmade, um, lamp worked. Carrie, it looks you, like Chihuly glass, yeah. it really does. Oh, yeah. You always amaze us with what you bring in and I am always impressed by the artists that we have among us mm -hmm. here in this city. Yeah. So this represents people from Pittsburgh, which our guild represent, is, is made up of people in Pittsburgh and the region, as well as people from across the country. It's great. Yep, so How you'll find a little are. bit of everything, some new, some returning.
Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you. And a fair in the park is presented, as we mentioned, by the Craftsman Guild of Pittsburgh and takes place this weekend starting at 1 p.m. tomorrow in Mellon Park. You do not want to miss this. I like when we have a little shop set up here I in the know. studio. Can it's I very take cool. That bag home? I'm <laughs> I know she's looking I'll at I'll Venmo it. you. She is eyeing that <laughs> up. All right.